Imagine knowing what content series perform the best on your channel. When you know this, you don't have to waste time and energy on content that receives little or no traffic and spend more time on topics that appeal to your audience. In this video, you'll learn how to compare videos side by side on YouTube without affecting your YouTube channel. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I compare the before and after stats of adding a new backdrop in my video. My name is Herman Drost from DrostDesigns.com. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, and sales on autopilot, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So how can you compare groups of videos on your channel to see which content is performing the best? You can do this using the groups feature in YouTube Analytics that not many people know about. You can compare different videos, playlists, or assets from your video content. Here are some of the benefits of using YouTube Analytics groups. Number one, compare video content based upon a common topic. Number two, compare video content based upon the type of video. Number three, compare one series of content with another series of content so you know which one performs best. Number four, ability to view groups data in YouTube Analytics. Here's how I created two groups of videos comparing before and after adding a new backdrop in my video. Here's before using the old backdrop. Here's after using a new backdrop. Go to YouTube Analytics and click on Groups. Click Browse All Groups. I created two groups of 10 videos each, one called Backdrop Before that contains 10 videos, and one called Backdrop After that contains 10 videos. So to create a group, you just click on Groups. You can browse all the groups you've created. Create a video group, or you can create a playlist group. Click Create Video Group. And just enter my group name in the box. So for illustration purposes, I'll call this Backdrop Before. Then you can find the videos you want to add. So you can add up to 200 videos in the group. You can search for videos by just adding your title. Click Search and just click on How to Add Special Effects is the one that I search for. Alternatively, you can add videos by the content ID. So you can just enter all the IDs on different lines separated by commas or spaces. So I just added videos to the group by just clicking on the boxes. So I've already created the groups, so I'm going to cancel out of here. So here's my first group, Backdrop Before. It contains 10 videos before I added the new backdrop. And the other group is Backdrop After. This contains 10 videos after I added the new backdrop. After you've created the groups, just click Save. You can edit the group. You can make a copy of the group and you can also delete the group. Let's compare the two groups. So let's click on Comparison. I select Groups. Browse all groups. So click Backdrop Before. If I want to compare the two groups, I just click Comparison. Click Search. Under Groups, Backdrop Before. Click Search. Groups, Backdrop After. Now you can see the graphs comparing the two different groups in the last 28 days. As you can see, the watch time increased after adding the new backdrop. The average view duration doubled by adding the new backdrop. And also my revenue increased after adding the new backdrop. Let's do the last 90 days. So last 90 days backdrop before, last 90 days backdrop after. As you can see, the watch time increased dramatically after adding the new backdrop. The average view duration doubled and also the revenue increased. Let's check the audience retention. The average view duration increased dramatically after adding the new backdrop, and the average percentage viewed increased from 6.9% to 28%. So it's definitely worth adding a backdrop to my YouTube videos. Let's compare the content performance of two different playlists. Click Comparison, click Search. I'm going to select this playlist, How to Grow a YouTube Channel in 2018. I'm going to compare it with the playlist, How to Rank YouTube Videos. Click Search, Browse All Playlists, how to rank YouTube videos in 2018. Watch time for how to grow a YouTube channel in 2018 is much higher. Views are much higher and average time in playlists is much higher also. Let's check watch time for the last 28 days. How to grow a YouTube channel got much more watch time than how to rank YouTube videos playlist. Let's check audience retention. Average view duration for how to grow your channel in 2018 was one minute less than how to rank YouTube videos in 2018. And the average time in a playlist was less for how to grow a YouTube channel and higher for how to rank YouTube videos. So I would recommend any more content to my playlist, how to rank YouTube videos in 2018, because it gets a higher average view duration than my other playlist. If you want to learn how to create and optimize playlists on the YouTube channel so you get more watch time, click the link in the card. Here are some other ways to compare the different types of content on the YouTube channel. Number one, compare styles of videos. Compare the performance of how-to videos versus live stream videos. Number two, compare thumbnails. Compare the performance of a group of videos using your old style thumbnails 
with a group of videos using the new style thumbnails. Number three, compare end screens. Compare the performance of a group of videos using the old end screen versus the performance of a group of videos using the new end screen. Compare short videos with longer videos. Create a group of videos that are under five minutes and compare it to the performance of videos that are over 10 minutes long. Let me ask you an important question. What types of content do you want to test on your YouTube channel? Post your answer in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too. If you want to know how to identify what you should improve about your channel or videos, download my free channel evaluation worksheet below and make sure you also subscribe and check out my related videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.